has been some time since the Ice Wizard got released at Squad Busters. Since then, it has become one of my most favorite units in the game. In this video, we want to check him out. That means we want to look at his stats, his abilities, and I will tell you everything you need to know to master the Ice Wizard. And as I said, thank you everybody for being here again. Really appreciate it. If someone else is new here, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for free to my channel. And well, we got a little bit closer to 20% of being active subscribed from all the watch time. So let's make it to 20%. Right here back at the Ice Wizard. Right now, I got him for sure on in super form and with the latest offer, I almost can make him to ultra, but that will definitely take some further time. The Ice Wizard is for sure a rare unit and it is an attacking unit while not having too much damage per second. It is only 110 per second and he has only 1000 HP. As a fusion, it's 220 damage per second and 3500 HP, so definitely kind of like a Classcon cannon without the auto attack damage. But why is this unit so good? Well, he has two special abilities. The first one is a passive one, gives a super free spell. And that one you can obviously use. And if you are affected by the super free spell, you can't barely move. That makes that alone to a very, very strong spell in the game. But at 2 stars he gets his Ice Fan, throws an Ice Fan after 6 attacks. So each 7th attack is a very strong one, it is kinda like an Ice Blast towards the direction where the Ice Wizard is looking to and that can be super deadly. Especially as a fused unit that is causing so much damage and can almost wipe full squads. With 3 stars the normal freeze spells will become also the super freeze which makes it even better, but not too crazy. And as a 4 star, yep. He will charge the Ice Fan much faster, so that will be even crazier, because you then can use that ability much more often, not only every 7th shot, no, much more often. And since it charges up with every shot, it is for sure a very nice combination with the Archer Queen, because you're attacking faster and you get your ultimate faster. Um, you need just the 6 attacks, and the 7th one will be then for sure the special one. One further attack and we will have the special one ready and you can see that it lights up there and now you have to be towards the opponent team so the ice wizard has to look in that direction where the most opponents are in its way because that is the direction where he will attack and we can see which unit is getting focused with the latest update it has those yellow shadow around and with that we know okay ice wizard is here and with that we can try to bring him into a very good position so that he causes more damage if he hits for sure more units. So I would try to run into the direction of the opponent team and slightly stop before being inside. Because if you would attack inside you will only hit a few guys and the other ones standing on the backside of the ice wizard will survive. And furthermore can be attacked there. So I would just run in just to be in the range and boom use it. And you could have seen that all those units which would have stayed behind the golem here would have taken some damage. I was the greedy, that was the greediness of the, the ice wizard. Ah, I knew that guy would come over. And we need another wizard. Please ice wizard. We got him in time and the ultimate was ready since it was a fused one. Oh, I love the ice wizard. Oh, we are too slow this time. Got third. Oh, two seconds longer we could have collected tons of gems. <laughs> Guys, I got a troll dynamite. <laughs> I regret it. Oh no. Ah, the troll dynamite carrying our ass there. But we uh, got choked, of course, by himself. Ice Wizard. Ice Wizard is such a crazy unit. Oh boys, oh boys, did you see that wipe? Five 
That was the best play of today. Oh! Come on! Just let him cook! Oh! Juicer, McGooser! Almost the hole in one, and we got almost the next one! So, what are your thoughts on the Ice Wizard? For me, it is definitely an insanely good damage dealer, but working different because his key is the ability, or better said, both of the abilities, slowing down the opponent, getting a high attack speed from an Archer Queen, and then blasting the opponent away. Thank you guys for watching, and hopefully you have enjoyed today's video.